right guys, so in today's video, I have a new pet to show you that we just picked up the other day. Uh, this guy's really cute, super low maintenance, very easy to care for, and just an overall very, very cool pet. So, let's meet the new pet. All right guys, well here it is. This is what the new pet is that I picked up today. So this is a little Pac-Man frog. He is an albino Pac-Man frog, and he's pretty young as you can see, if you want to see my hand for size. He's pretty small. These guys can get pretty big, so I'm very excited to have this little cutie. I've always wanted one. So today we're going to actually turn this into a bioactive planted tank. It already has the perfect substrate. It's a coconut husk kind of substrate. And I have everything I need here. I have cleanup crew I can take from my other tanks. I've got some isopods I can take from my other tanks, springtails. Um, and I also have lots of live plants I can take from different areas of my house. So I'm really excited to get this going and we're gonna go ahead with it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I like the look of black, blackout, yeah, excuse my hands, or you can tell I've been working. I like the look of the back of tanks to be black, so I'm actually gonna use this bristle board, you just buy that at any dollar store, and I'm gonna go ahead and fit it right back there like that. So I'll do that and I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, so I went ahead and added the black background there. I didn't cut it perfect, slightly off, but it's okay, it's not noticeable. So, and I'm also going to have like plants and vegetation up there so you won't see it as much, but I like the look of the blacked out uh, background. I might also eventually do some kind of like 3D black background story where it like pops out and stuff, but right now this is great. And he is hanging out right here right now, it seems to be the spot he likes. Alright guys, so I talked about isopods and springtails and that is what these are right here. These little guys, they're so cute. Everyone had different names for them when you were a kid. Some people call them the roly polies. Uh, potato bugs is very common. That's what I called them when I was a kid. There's so many different types and colors. As you can see, they're honestly so, so cute. So I have two types in here. One type is the powder orange. As you can see, it's that reddish color right there. And the other one is my personal favorite, and it is the dairy cow. And they are black and white, just like a little cow. They are so, so, so cute. You can see inside there, there's those tiny little white bugs running around. Those are called springtails, and that is also part of the cleanup crew. So I'm going to put a cover on these guys before they get away, because I'm not quite ready for them yet. Another part of a bioactive tank is the vegetation, the plants, so what you actually plant. This, I have no idea what any of my plants are called, but I know this one grows amazingly in them. I have so much of this overgrown, so it's got some roots already started. So basically, I'll plant this all throughout the substrate in the tank, and that will, yeah, that's part of bioactive. You want live plants, and you want bugs for your cleanup crew. The next thing you need for a bioactive tank is what's called leaf litter. That is literally what it sounds like, leaf littered on the bottom. Uh, this is just leaves I took from other tanks that had kind of fallen off, that were starting to die a little bit. Generally, you can buy them like mulberry leaves. I'm going to buy some mulberry leaves to add those as well. What this does is it creates kind of a little hiding area for the isopods, so the bugs, then the frog, which in my case is a frog. Don't try to eat all the bugs. Uh, it also creates some kind of food and vegetation for the bugs to munch on as well. And of course, it just looks nice. So this is something you will sprinkle along the bottom in the substrate of your tank. And some rocks and different kind of structure to put inside, just so it's not boring. Um, I will try to make him a little cave kind of thing here in a bit. These are just a couple of rocks I've grabbed. I'm gonna get lots more. Uh, he's been hopping around in here being pretty cute. He's some cute. All right, guys, so I went ahead in all of my kind of spare fish tanks that I don't use, and I picked out different stuff that I want to use for the inside of the frog's tank. Lots of flat rocks to be able to make caves and stuff. All these kind of unique shapes and colors, things like that. I also have this little piece of, it's it's fake log, but it looks like a log, so perfect. So there is definitely lots to choose from here for this build. Um, I'm definitely not going to use all of it. It's not going to fit, so I'm going to use as best I can and then put the rest away for a different build. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also have these. These are actually like the things you buy for barbecues for charcoal. They're just really cool looking and they have all kinds of like little areas that the um, springtails can go inside and stay hidden. So I thought I'd just have a little pile of those guys somewhere. So I'm really excited to do this build, but here's the stuff that I'm going to use, minus all of the plants I'm going to put in it. Okay, so I went ahead and added some extra substrate and the water dish as well as a little hide in the corner and he went ahead and went into his little corner right away so that's perfect the water dish is a very big water bowl but i put lots of little rocks and ledges in it so that if he does get in it he will be able to get out i haven't filled it up yet so i like the look of it kind of having 
upward slopes, downward slope, different perspective. I still have to put the plants in and then release the bioactive crew in there as well. And I also have to get a hygrometer as well, which will track the humidity to make sure that this guy always has the correct amount of humidity. It is poking out right there. All right, guys, so now I'm going to start adding the plants to the tank. So I went ahead and added this plant back here to kind of hide that corner area and give some height back there. Also add that little log. This is the product after I added all of the plants that I did have. I added some spider plants, uh, some ivy, the rest I do not know the names of. Here's just another good look. I filled the water dish up. I definitely really like how this is looking. The next thing is I'm going to add the isopods. So these little guys will make this place their home. Uh, I got to keep an eye on the water dish because these guys do tend to kind of climb in water dishes and get stuck. So like I said, this is right next to my desk, so I'll be able to keep an eye for that and save them as needed. I'm also going to add some mealworms. This is not needed, but I personally like mealworms in a bioactive. Uh, they help with everything. And it's also a little snack for him once in a while. Here he is hanging out. Definitely seems to enjoy it so far. I went ahead and added a black to the side as well. So now it's blacked out on one side and the back. And that's because my desk is right next to it. So when I look over, I could see him perfectly with that blacked out back and side. Here is the final product with the light. This looks awesome. All right, so it is the next day. I wanted to wait a full kind of 24 hours before I did anything else with it because I wanted to let him kind of pick the spot he wanted in the tank. I was hoping he was going to pick back there, but of course he did. He picked over here which is still a very perfect spot for him. So the final touches that I did is I really, really liked the look of these charcoal rocks. So I actually lined it all here. The white is lava rock that I had from a fish tank that I just broke up into kind of pieces to make kind of a pattern. I like the look of patterns. I wanted to make a very obvious ledge here so that the perspective of low versus high is a little more you know, evident. And I also really like the look of the, like these rocks, like I said, so I lined it around these plants, which is also going to help the plants to stay up. Same thing at the back. And the reason why that's important is that you don't want any plants that are super low for these guys because they'll just hop over them and crush them. So everything is kind of elevated and protected by these rocks. So like I say, I'm so happy with the results. It looks amazing. Um, I can always see him and see kind of what's going on, so it's going to be really fun. So yeah. This is the finished product. So drop a like and a comment below what you guys think about it and what you think I should add. Um, I like, I'd like to get a working waterfall at some point. I think that'd be incredible to look in this tank, a little kind of waterfall, something like that. Third, I do want to get a light that fits better. Right now I just have this spare light that fits. Uh, I can stick it back here, which it looks fine, but then the front plants aren't getting enough light. So I really want these plants to thrive in here, so I want to make sure they have light. So that's how I've got it so far. I am probably going to get some kind of like light that I can hang down, something like that. And I'm also going to keep an eye on this guy and the temperature in here. Right now he's got no heat pad and no heat light, but if I notice the temperature is cool, I will definitely add that for him, no problem. Um, it's very warm in the upper part of my house, so I'm just kind of gauging what the temperature is like up here before I add that for him. For today's video i took a little break from a day in the life series to kind of give you something different um hopefully you enjoyed it we are going to get back to the day in the life series in the next video drop a comment on what you want to see next all kinds of options just drop a comment i'll see if i can make that happen if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video